write a C++ program to overload the unary minus operator to negate a point in three dimensional space using member function. In this program, we are discussing about operator overloading concept. By using operator overloading concept, we can be able to overload the existing meaning of an operator so that this operator can be used with user defined data type like classes and its corresponding objects. In this program, we are negating a unary minus operator for negating a point in three dimensional space. For the purpose, we are creating a class which is named as space. There are three data members declared inside the space. X, Y and Z of integer type. In the public section, we have defined one parameterized constructor for initializing the value of data members X, Y and Z. So the constructor takes three parameters, which is named as X, Y, and Z. So the value of X should get stored into the data member X. Similarly, the Y should get stored into the data member Y and Z should store into the data member Z. So since the parameters and data members names are the same, in order to access the data member, we are using this pointer. After that, a display method has been written, which is used to display the value of data members X, Y, and Z. The operator overloading function need to be written as a member function in this program. First, we have written the return data type of our function, which we have written as void. Followed by operator keyword, every operator overloading function in C++, we have to use the keyword operator followed by the symbol which we have to overload. Now here we are overloading minus symbol. Operator overloading function, we have not mentioned any parameters because we are overloading a unary operators by using a member function. So if we are overloading a unary operator by using a member function, it does not takes any parameters because the operand which we are using for unary operator will get passed into the operator overloading function as a default object. So one object will get passed into the operator overloading function minus and the data members of the current object X, Y and Z will be negated and get stored into the data member X, Y and Z. So that's why we have written x equal to minus x, y equal to minus y, and z equal to minus z. So the current object will get passed into the operator overloading function minus, will make all its data members to be negated. In the main method, we are creating an object for the space class. The object name is pt with three data members. We have passed three values for the data members 10, minus 20 and 25. A display method has been called by using the object pt. Then we have written minus pt. Minus pt statement will make the operator overloading functions to get called and the operand which is pt that's an object of space will get passed into the operator overloading function as the default object, the current object. So PT will be get passed into the operator overloading function operator minus and the data members of PT which is X, Y and Z value will get negated with its 
sign. After that, we are displaying the value of PT once again by using PT.display. The display method of the space class has been called by using the object PT once again. execute and see the program output. 